Let me also bring into this conversation senior advocate Hari Shankar Jain. Asaduddin OAC says this order must be challenged in High Court as this order will lead to more trouble in society. He fears similar petitions will come up across the country, sir. I admire OAC ji personally. But OAC ji, whatever says, actually totally against the Constitution. I, I do not think that anybody can be restrained from approaching the court. We have filed a case before the court. Okay. Why not Pandora Bounds? It is the who tells of 800 years of Muslim atrocities. How Hindu can, for years to come, can continue this cross on their chest and say that you have rightly done, you have rightly demolished the temple. We are raising bias through court. It is not like CI that we have, we have started the road. We are okay, you are saying you are rightly demanding your temples be restored. Varis Pathan, mosques at Ayodhya, Mathura and Kashi you heard Uma Bharti. They symbolize actions of invaders and tyrants. Babar wasn't an Indian. He was an invader who came from outside. Aurangzeb was a bigot and a tyrant. He imposed jazia tax on Hindus. <clears throat> he ordered demolition of temples, desecration of temples. Sir, should Muslims in India today either defend those actions or seek mosques at places of worship of Hindus which are central to Hindu faith? Well, Gaurav, the country will run on the basis of the constitution and the rule of law and not on the basis of Asta. So today, the court has given a verdict and I feel that it is against the basic principles which were laid down in the Places of Worship Act 1991. Gaurav, we have to see the intent of the Places of Worship Act 1991. The intent was clear that henceforth there should not be any litigation, there should not be any disturbance, destabilization in the country. So during the Babri Masjid, case verdict in the civil suit, the honorable judges were of the opinion that this act will come into play and those monuments prior to 15 August 1947, you cannot change the nature and character of that place. The intent was clear. This was also taken into consideration, the Gyanwapi issue was also taken into consideration while deciding the places of worship act because the same Uma Bharti who was a member of parliament then has raised the issue. So after consideration of everything, taking into consideration everything, the places of worship act was there. And the act is still in existence. It is just being challenged. Pending that, today this court have given this order. It was a suit under order 7 rule 11. Now it is kept for further hearing on September 22nd, I suppose. So I am sure that the Intizamiya committee of this Anjuman, they will definitely file an appeal against the order and I am hopeful that the Honorable High Court will look into the intricacy of the entire thing and give a stay on this. This has not barred the Muslims from going there and pray. True. They can go there, they can pray, they can uh, 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 do the wazu also there as per the direction of the Supreme Court. Nor they have granted the permission to our five Hindu sisters who demanded that they be allowed to worship there every day. That is also pending. So let us hope, let us wait. Let the courts decide, taking into consideration both the sides. But I am sure in the 1936 judgment is also there. Okay. In uh, in the case of our state versus the Dina, and I am forgetting Deen the Mohammed, name of Deen, that person. Dean Mohammed, sir. In that case, also yes, it is clearly said. Dean Mohammed, Dean Mohammed, Dean Mohammed versus the state. It is clearly stated that the masjid house at the backside of the zameen, the place and everything. It's and a the land property. underneath. So how can you obtain that? Okay. Place? The question Fair is enough. simple. The Babri Masjid case, the issues were settled. So why do you come forward? Again, you want to create an atmosphere of the 80s and 90s, that but era, what we saw. Okay, Deepa the Ishwar, is there an effort to create... Spread. The same is, thing happened during the Babri Masjid issue. Is there an effort to create the atmosphere the once again? The, uh, Muslims say they have offered namaz at Gyanwapi for hundreds of years. Why has this issue been raked up once Ayodhya was settled, Deepa? No, I think we are, see, this is a very sensitive issue and we should not be uh, blaming, uh, you know, both either communities. I think, see, it. we need to be coexisting. It's If you look at it from that point of view, it's such a beautiful place because you've got a mosque and you've got, you know, if you can coexist together, then nothing like it. Now, what happened here is that it's very clear out there that there is a shivling. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go digging out for shivling or any, uh, you know, sim symbols of Hindu 
uh, existence under every mosque. But if you found one, then why not harmoniously accept it? What is the problem in accepting the sentiments of the Hindu community is what okay. I don't understand. Be it the Shabri Mala, be it Gyanvapi, be it Kashi Mathure, whatever temple, you know, whenever there is an issue about a temple being raised, it's always raising hands out, you know, pointing fingers at the Hindus saying that we are being intolerant. But who is actually being intolerant here? Basically, we it's very clear, the court has observed, the court has clearly said why the Place of Worship Act is, does not, uh, you know, bar this particular petition. 